This is Karsten Farber, the Baron von Wittenstein. Hello, so nice Sophie. to meet you. Hello. As long as I can remember, it was a dream of mine to live in the west side of Los Angeles. And I know Grandpa's going to love to have a schnapps there oh, yeah. at that bar. <laughs> that will be his new full day living room. So. <laughs> <laughs> My client, Karsten, is a Baron. So he's got opulent taste and he's used to living a high lifestyle. The whole idea is to go really big. If I'm moving here, then we can <laughs> pal around or something. Exactly. <laughs> There's always a risk with working with friends in business, and Jim has some doubts because I'm a young broker. I'm just a little reluctant, given that we have such a seasoned guy on it. It's important for me to prove myself here, not only to Jim, but also my husband with their relationship. Oh my gosh, look at this. like over-the-top chateau style, and then you can get a flavor of what we're gonna do. Today I'm meeting Carsten Farber, the Baron from Germany. And he and my wife are really great friends, and they're out antique shopping. Gabrielle? We have to get an English dining mm -hmm. table. Yes, but I want it with a huge chandelier over the table. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Hey. Hi, honey. Oh, my God. Oh. Hi, Hey, Karsten. Hi. Welcome back. <laughs> Karsten is here in L.A. this week just specifically to help find an estate or property for himself and his family. There is so much beautiful stuff. But aren't we supposed to find the house first before buying the furniture and antiques? Oh, my God. Don't be such an old lady. You know what we're doing. <laughs> so you really want a, a very formal, luxurious interior? Yes. It has to be elegant and regal and more formal but yet more of a perhaps California Mediterranean yes. exterior. Yes. It has to be a family estate, what my parents can use, my sister, my brothers, and everybody. Most of the time, I hope I can use it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I can remember, it was a dream of mine to live here in the west side of Los Angeles. The budget for the houses I'm looking for is around $20 million. If it is cheaper, would be perfect. And I've got a couple of good choices for yes. you. We've got a full week of fun stuff planned. Oh, that's cool. But we're gonna have a good time, so. The Baron is a really good friend of my wife's and also now a very important client. So I'm gonna make sure he has an awesome time and see some really incredible properties while he's here. So good news, my listing in Brentwood just sold. I got full price, 1300 a foot, which is crazy. Congratulations. Thank you. Today, my husband Travis and I are meeting his business partner, Jimmy, and his wife, Dana. They do commercial real estate. Jimmy had one of his townhouses in Santa Monica on the market recently, and it didn't sell. So I'm hoping that he'll give me the opportunity to be the next listing agent, and I can make him very proud. So how's everything going on the Idaho project? You know, it's, it's, it's going, it's a, it's a little slow. I'd like to see more activity. It's currently listed at a million four fifty. So I'm really surprised the property hasn't sold yet. Yeah, you know, we hired a really seasoned guy. He's more than qualified to get what we want out of it. I just don't really see the results right now. I mean, I think it's worth talking to Katie. She's very excited. And I think maybe it's time to get a little young, fresh blood on the project. Yeah, it's, I'm just a little reluctant. So I just want to know you have a strong commitment to kind of see it through. and I'll absolutely be able to give this listing the attention it deserves. I'm aggressive, I'm hungry for business, and I know that I can show you I can do a good job. Let's, let's give it a shot. I just want to make sure we all understand that, that we can all move on if it's not working out and if you can't kind of see it through. There's always a risk with working with friends in business, and I don't like the fact that he has doubts about me, but it gives me that much more ammunition to do a fantastic job and to prove him wrong. I'd be happy to come by and grab the keys and, you know, go show Katie the property. Perfect. So this is one of the best parts of L.A., Carson Bel Air, mm -hmm. and it's a classic old Hollywood type estate. My client Carson is looking for a family estate here in L.A., and he's part of the German jet set, or the Schönewelt, as they call it in Germany. He's a baron. So he's got opulent taste, and he's used to living a high lifestyle. So I bring him to the first property here in Bel Air that I really feel fits pretty much all the criteria he's looking for. 
Christoph. Hi, Kofi, how are you? Welcome, good to see you. Good to see you. Definitely. It's our good friend Carson Farber, the Baron von Wittenstein. Hello, nice Kofi. to meet you. Hello. Well, welcome to one of the premier estates on Sarbonne Road. Thank you. Carson, look at this. Amazing. You I wanted a it. big grand entryway, right? Yes. Wait, this is pretty darn grand, yes. huh? Yes, and that is really what I have in my mind. This is a beautiful room? Yes, it is. And even though it looks like a 1930s house, it was only built a few years ago, but you have a beautiful, classic, kind of old Hollywood glamour house. Yes. Carson, I really love this room because it's right off oh, the yes. Grand Foyer. How would you use this room? Yes, as a cigar room or the man's room, you know? It's First off, actually, in theory, yeah. there's a second library in this house. Oh, room. that is so cool, yes. Oh, I like that. that. I got it. Who knows? This is the real party room here. You know, I'm not at all surprised at a $20 million budget for a second or third home. If you're used to a home with staff and servants and drivers and caretakers, when you're traveling, you want that same lifestyle. That right? is exactly what I need. But isn't this a great room? You have his and hers master bath. That is great. And here's one of the two master bedroom balconies. You love being outdoors? Oh, look at that view. This is great. It's actually the epitome of California living. And I love this outdoor kitchen. So no detail spared out here as well. Feel free to take another look around, or if you want to just hang out out here. And Thank you, Cole. Okay, we'll sit up here for minutes and talk good. about it. So what do you think? I mean, it's quite it's special. It's really huh? a great house, yes. You like the architectural yes. style. OK, yes, great. Yes, definitely. And then the outdoor space is not that big. Well, the good thing is the house we're seeing tomorrow is a lot more outdoor areas. That sounds great. Today's showing went great. Carson really loved the house. So now we're going to move forward, look at something else, and the whole idea is to go really big. I'm excited to see this. I hope it's in good condition. Yeah, me too. I'm meeting my husband, Travis, today at my new listing in Santa Monica to walk through it for the first time. It was on the market before, and it had been stagnant. So I need to come up with my own strategy to sell it and get the most money possible. Nice. Look at this. Yeah, it's great. This really has such a good feeling. It's so open, high ceilings. I just love the flow of the kitchen. It's so nice. And then it opens up to the space. Buyers love that. It's just a great, entertaining house. Yep. Jim's taking a risk with Katie. She's a young agent in Santa Monica. So it's important to you know keep the relationship on good terms and my business relationship. So there's a couple different levels of relationships at stake here. Oh, this is great. Yeah, this is a great master with the patio there. And it's so important for buyers that all three bedrooms are on the same level. For so many young families, that's what they want. OK, so let's see what we have down here. Oh my gosh, look at this. This would be a great home office. After seeing this today, I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm glad I got to see it too. I think the problem in the past was it wasn't staged. So I think that it's really important to get it staged in those key rooms so that we get great photos on the internet and it'll appear to buyers to be a new listing. What I want to do is have the public open house first to get the buyers in here, have them fall in love. The brokers probably already know and aren't excited about it anymore. Yeah, so that's a good idea. I mean, look, I have all the faith in the world that you can execute on this. Now it's about showing Jimmy that you can do this and do a great job. And if you can, I think there's a lot more business opportunities here for I you I agree. Guys. The next step is to get the stager in here and the designer, get good photos, and hit the market. I mean, seriously, you wanted more space? I brought you to 23 yeah. acres. After touring our first home, Carson wanted a lot more land. So I brought him to one of the nicest suburbs in Los Angeles called Thousand Oaks. And frankly, this outdoor space is like a six-star luxury resort. So I think he's going to love it. Wow.
Wow, Carson, you wanted a beautiful living room. This yes, is a beautiful, huh? Definitely, yes. absolutely breathtaking. You know, that high ceiling. But it's got that old world European elegance. Yes, I mean, the moldings and. Wow, Carson, this is a great oh, bar. This. I know oh, Grandpa's yeah. going to love to have a schnapps there oh, yeah. at that bar. <laughs> that will be his new full day living room. So. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My family, I'm sure, definitely would love this estate. You know, everything. When you come in, it feels warm. It's a warm feeling in the house. It is big, but it is not cold. Now, Carson, this is a master suite. Absolutely uh -huh. fit for me. Definitely, yes. I mean, this whole room is just exquisite. Great room. I thought you'd like that. That is a master suite, you know? <laughs> a real master yes, suite, right? that is. You want a lot of outdoor space? Yes. You got it. The French Versailles Parterre Gardens, which are beautifully maintained. Absolutely. And here we have our amazing pool. Yes. Just think you Absolutely. leave Germany when it's ice freezing cold. You yes. come here, it's 85 degrees. Really breathtaking, you know? So what do you think overall? I mean, is this one you think will work? This house had really everything I had in my mind, you know. The only thing is it is a little bit far away outside from Los Angeles. Okay. You okay. know, when you want to be in the social life or whatever, you, it's a long drive. But it is definitely on the A-list. Got it. Well, you know, I like the feedback because it helps me always yes. in the next one. And we do have one more house we're going to see in the next couple okay, days. Okay, that's great. But I have a surprise for you. We're throwing a black tie party in your honor this evening. So I think we should head on back to the city oh, and so get ready for dinner. So and so I hope much. you brought black tie. You always oh, do, yes, don't you? Good. Of course. Just approach to the house. Today, I'm back at my new listing in Santa Monica to meet Brett, the interior designer, to finalize all the staging and get it ready for the public open house this weekend. I think what's really important is for it to feel very neutral so it doesn't turn anyone off, but it appeals to everyone who comes in. OK, great. What we're trying to accomplish in staging is to reveal a house so that people see it and experience it for themselves. So we have to grab their attention, grab their emotion from the moment they walk in. Regardless of how good a realtor is, their prospective buyer doesn't want to be told, this is great. They want to walk in and know it for themselves. The basement is a perfect example. We're going to set it up as an office and let people walk in and see that it's usable space and then interpret their own use for it. I think this looks absolutely amazing. Anyone that would walk in here would immediately feel comfortable and at home and they'd want to live here. Hello, come on in. Now I'm meeting my sister, who's a professional photographer, to take great photos so we can get this property in the public eye. This property has been on the market before and did not sell. OK. And we need to reignite the excitement. All right. Nice. Photography is so important in this case because we're skipping the broker's open and we're going directly to the public open house. And 90% of buyers are on the internet looking for properties for themselves. I'm just finishing up these details. Great, thanks so much. Thanks what's, for having me. What's the turnaround time, though? Oh, it's normally about 48 hours. Does that work? No. <laughs> I'm your sister. What about something a little shorter? Since you're my sister, I'll do 24. Nice. All right. Now you owe me lunch. I do. Lunch and drink. <laughs>and the evening's finally arrived. Oh, it's yes. a big black dude at the house. You're coming out, ball. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, it's going to be a fun evening. Well, tonight's the big night of our black tie cocktail party for Carson. We're so excited because it's a great opportunity to introduce him to the Beverly Hills friends and the lifestyle here in LA. This is my pleasure Carson to meet you. My pleasure. It's a great way to meet and get connected to a new town. I know if we were moving to somewhere else, I would want someone to do the same thing for us. I think it would be a fool to invest in anything in Thousand Oaks. How long have you guys lived in Bel Air now? 34 years. 34 actually. years, okay. yeah. Oh, very nice to have great. you. Thank pleasure. you so much. Thank Any royalty pleasure. is welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the first We're so happy to open our home to everyone. So cool. You look marvelous. Thousand Oaks is a wonderful, fabulous area. Lots of land. It's not too far. Uh, I think it's perfect. So if I'm moving here, then we can <laughs> pal around or something. Exactly. Los Angeles, can you? Yes. yes. Gabriel and Christophe, they introduced me to all their friends they have here in Bel Air. Young people, older people. 
Hollywood people. And I'm so happy because it makes it much, much more easier if I'm moving to LA. I think I have a lot of new friends. <laughs> yeah. I think you fit in the belly lifestyle. I'm Katie. Julie, nice Hi. to meet you. Hi, Julie, nice to meet you. Nice Hello, to meet you. welcome. Thanks, we saw this on the internet last night and you decided to check it out. Okay, great, so we know a little bit about it. Yeah. Today we're at the first public open house for my new listing in Santa Monica. Normally you have the brokers open first. I'm having the public open house first because it was listed previously, so agents have already seen it and may